Hi, this is Paul at Music Villa in Bozeman, Montana. Today we're excited to have Corey Congilio here from the Martin Guitar Company, and we had him in over the weekend. We did an awesome guitar clinic, and uh, they're touring around the country talking about Martin guitars, and today we're excited to have him here. So what we thought was we would take uh, a model that uh, came out this year, and we haven't really done much with this, but we wanted to show it today. And this is the OMC28E, correct? That's right. All right. What's cool about these is these are like the standard series Martins, and uh, what, what we love about this is finally what they've done is cutaways and pickups. So we all know the D28, D35, D18, OM28s, well, now you can get them all with cutaways and the electronics. So the great traditional Martin guitars, but able to take on stage and do a little bit more with it. So that's right. I'm assuming that's why why you play this one, because yeah, you absolutely. play on stage all the time. Sure. So what uh, what's your thoughts on this? This one is the OM, so that's longer scale length, a little wider, wider uh, nut width. Yeah. And uh, 28 means rosewood back and sides, of course, right. Sitka spruce top. But uh, great guitars, and uh, this is your main main axe, right? Correct, yeah. So. Uh, you know, one of the things that's uh, physically obvious about this line is that, uh, for one, it's got the modified low oval performing artist taper neck oh, yeah, profile, yep. which has become really popular, and uh, it's great for players, I think, that are going back and forth between electric and acoustic. You know, a player might not want to go from their you know, fast-playing electric guitar to a big modified V, you know, that might be kind of weird to, especially if you're going back and forth quickly between instruments. Right. In, in you know, set. and Martin has a lot of different neck profiles. Certainly. So what, what does that mean with the, what's the... That's a great question. The way that I can just put it on, you know, the nutshell version is it's uh, the same taper. It's a very slim taper, and it feels just about the same from the first fret all the way up to just about as high as you can reach here okay. on the 12th fret. So it doesn't get super doesn't get chunky. Thick and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a very even playing neck design, which is really nice. Cool. And also, you know, we we really listen to uh, our customer, and we put out some of these flagship models, like you said, with cutaways and electronics, and the electronics are not accessible on the side of the instrument. <laughs> yeah. So there we are, finally, yeah. no holes in, on the guitar. Yeah. Which and that's is really cool, cool when you're talking about that, because you're, you're messing with a traditional series, and I know it took Martin many yeah. years to do to do this, and so it's it's cool to see now that it's it's done, but it that's still right. looks like a traditional guitar. Absolutely. And, uh, and by the way, you you live in uh, Nashville now, and yeah. you also do online lessons. Correct. Uh, what's the name of that? What's, it's what's called that? truefire.com. Great. You can find more about it, uh, more out about it at truefire.com or my website, Corey Congelio. Cool. I looked on there. Thank you. Truefire, there's a lot of cool um, cool guys teaching. For sure. Uh, yeah. Who's on there? Uh, the guys on there teaching with you. Oh, I always say, like, you know, lesser known guitar players like Robin Ford and Tommy oh, yeah. Emmanuel. Tommy, yeah, there you People go. you might not have heard of. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> And me. That's, yeah. <laughs> and Corey Congilio. Yeah, yeah. Congilio. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let's, um, let's you know, and I want to say what this what the, what else is available in this series. So just so we know, D18, mahogany back and sides, D28, D35. Correct. And, and all, then the OM. Correct. Yep. And then the GP, which is the grand performing body That's shape. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is new. We, we haven't offered that body style in a standard series uh, construction. Yep. So there's the dovetail neck joint. Uh, it's... It's cool because a GP body with a three-piece back when it's a GP thirty-five CE. Gotcha. So that's yeah. very very cool. Yeah, thing. I forgot to mention. So you are getting yeah you're getting dovetail neck joint, nitrocellulose lacquer Correct. finishes. Just yeah. everything cool about the traditional. What standard I like to series. yeah, and what I like to say is in the eighteen, twenty-eight, and thirty-five appointment set, you have those three models in each one. So cool. a flavor for everybody. We think. Perfect. Yeah. Well, let's hear this one. Cool. All right. So this is it. <laughs> balanced and um, you know it's not the dreadnought it's more of the um, you know focused kind of Correct. sound probably great for on stage yeah uh, real quick let's do just a test of the pickup system sure tell us, just tell us briefly about that yeah well let me put it on here um, this is the Aura VT enhance system 
that we've uh, worked with Fishman on. This is a proprietary design. You're only going to find it on the standard series okay. here. Uh, we do have the Matrix VT Enhanced that's on 15s and uh, 17 series. That It's an add-on option. Gotcha. Uh, so what it employs is a tried-and-true Matrix, Fishman Matrix Infinity that lives uh, under underneath the saddle. Okay. We, do, we did take this standard series and we sent these instruments to Fishman and there is uh, a touch of aura imaging uh, blended into the preamp. And what that really does is it helps take sort of the edge off of that, uh, that under saddle pickup. Um, under saddle pickups, really they're very transient and fast. They cut through the mix, they're resistant to feedback and you can really get them loud. But they're only getting the vibration of the string, a little bit of the top, and that sure. pressure from the saddle here. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds something like this. Yeah, there we go. But the enhanced function now gives you the ability to access a new, entirely cool uh, pickup system that Fishman designed called a bridge plate transducer. And it's wired to this thumb wheel here called the enhanced control. And when I engage that and turn it up a healthy amount, what it does is it makes the entire top come alive. Okay. Now that's just not cool for people that want to do that, which yeah. is very cool. But what it does is it gets more of the resonance of the top. So I'm going to turn it off, play okay. an example, and then I'll turn it up and you'll hear the same kind right. of idea. Not only yeah. did it get louder, if I took it away, gotcha. And that that part lives on the inside, right on the bridge yeah, plate. on the bridge plate. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's a transducing pickup that's yeah. about the size of my index. So you got you get the best of yeah. both worlds. You get the nice little. Uh, Transducer pickup under the saddle, then yeah. one under the bridge plate. Kind of the blend of the two is. Yeah, and that's a great. Need. Exactly. And that's a real set it and forget it kind of thumb wheel. Okay. Um, so I like to just kind of put it all maybe three quarters of the way up or back it down if I need to. Cool. And then we have a tone control as well on the, oh, on yeah, the matrix good. side. So you're getting that was a more of a flat EQ response. I could do more of a scooped lower mid uh, if I want or anywhere in between. Cool. Well, yeah. let's. Uh, I thank you for coming here today, and great. I know we're going to probably hopefully get a couple more videos going. For sure. Uh, we had a great clinic with you, and uh, you can check out Corey online, and uh, let's, uh, let's take us out with cool. a little song. And thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching.